I feel like Vitafly gonna recap this and say God he caught a 30 on the dime roll. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. That one was crazy out of the game. Sometimes that's Peter, nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the Vitafly. We used to rapping like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh huh, uh huh. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers. That notification game, rightsgameclothing.com for the merchandise. You heard me right. Salute to every single one of the subscribers. That notification gang, gang. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. A lot of y'all watch the content. Make sure you subscribe. That's the best way to stay in tune. So, uh, Sue Surf, Murder Mood Go Live. And the energy is up there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I knew that the energy for Murder Mook and Tay Rock would start to be different. Like a lot of the battles that we see, you know, things is cool. The promotion is cool. The publicity is cool. The trailers is cool. But I just, it was just something that let me know that the energy for this one was going to be a little bit different. And the reason why is because Murder Mook is one of the originators, original guys who became superstars in battle rap. Like, when you think of battle rap from a holistic perspective, especially for individuals, I told y'all yesterday about low tier fans, mid tier fans, top tier fans. Lower tier fans are the fans of battle rap who watch it in passing, maybe if something comes out on YouTube, if they are chilling at a kickback, they don't really stay in tune with all the new things that are going on. Those are the lower tier fans. They don't really stay in tune with this. The top, top, top tier fans are you guys who watch blogs, who follow the culture, who know everything that's going on, every twist, every turn, every new guy that's hot. The top tier fans know who Swamp is, know who all of the newer guys are, right? So watch me break this down. Um, the lower tier guys, they know who Murder Mook is. They know for a fact who he is. They've seen him on the DVDs. They know him from like the BET ciphers and things like that. He's the reason why a lot of people even battle rap. He's the reason why I got, I'm blogging because without Murder Mook, there's no, there really is no bigger URL or no battle rap scenes or nothing. Like he pretty was the one that elevated the Smack DVD scene. A lot of us watched the Smack. Like here's how it went, right? In the Smack DVD era, a lot of us were fans of the 50 Cent interviews, of the Jim Jones, of the BMF interviews, of the Young Jeezys. Uh, all of those interviews were cool. But what really made those DVDs pop was the battles at the end. I don't care. Most people, if you're a battle rap fan of this culture right now, the battles at the end of the DVD were everything. I mean, Murder Mook vs. Party Yard. <sighs> to each his own, I keep the chrome. This nigga so ugly, we should have battled on a speakerphone. I want to talk to your boss because I don't fuck with workers. I took Tim's like construction workers. Like, like Party Artie's... That's what I learned about Party Artie. That's what I learned about Murder Mook, really, was on the Smack DVDs. That's the first time I really seen him with the do-rag, battling outside, um, him versus Jay Mills, you know, him and the, the, the famous Cassidy joint, when him and Cassidy was going back and forth. So he kind of, he basically transcended his culture. Um, him battling against Tay Rock, Sue Surf said what a lot of people are thinking. Murder Mook was mentioning, do you know how he got on URL? Do you know who introduced him to battle rap? Why would you not? Why are you in? Why are you even in the pool right now? Why am I what? You in the pool? You know what? You can yeah, be I'm in enjoying, the pool. I'm enjoying. I'm enjoying life. That's it. That's enjoying my losses. I ain't mad. I'm on this time. I feel. Yo, I ain't been up at 10, 10 in the morning in like two years. I, respectfully, respectfully, respectfully. I ain't been up ten in the morning in two years, boy. I'm here with the upper echelon of my era. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta love it. I, and I love that. I love that. I'm, me too. Me too. He got to take his mask off so we can know who that is. Same goes. Watch your mouth, man. Oh, that's Watch Rex. Oh, why? Mouth. Oh, that's Rex. Oh, why? Fucking mouth, man. Hey, yo, yo. listen. Hey, yo, yo. We, listen. We could cut the story. Listen, we could call, we could talk the small. We could cut the, the talk short. 10,000. Yo, yo, listen. 10,000. I, I'm 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 talking about listen to me. He jumped on my live. He say how much you got on how much you got on rock. I'm, I I'm trying to live, explain it. He's still talking to me. Yo, listen. You got ten bands on your boy. What's this? What's, what time is it? It's le it's Somebody ten fifty. You see how dead man looking at you? Listen, 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 listen to me. Listen to me. 
nigga I'm gonna tell you this right now. I'm not even trying to say anything other than that's a bet. But what I'm gonna say to you is this. They drunk. He said he drunk. He drunk. It's early. They drunk. He said I'm drunk. drunk. They drunk. They drunk. <laughs> I'm about it's to go early. outside. That's crazy. I'm just trying to explain to you something. Listen, I'm listening. I hate this nigga. We hate we hate you too. No, 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 no. You don't really hate me because you don't like me and you don't have you don't have no reason to hate me. But I got a, but I got enough reason to want to want my nigga to beat your ass. Yeah, but I hate him. Why you don't think that's mutual though? <laughs> the reason I'm telling you was mutual is because why it's not mutual is because me and him have I have a reason to hate him. Do you know? Did he tell you the whole story? How you nah, how did I'm, he not in the, I'm not in the I'm, you know in, I'm not in the stories. I'm in the action. Do you know how he even got on Smack? Do you know that? Do you know who introduced him to people first? Yes or no? Do you know how he got introduced? Let, no, you're not listening. Do you know how he got introduced to the people first? Do you that's know where Halloween. I came from? None of this going to matter on Halloween. No, no, it really... That, that's why I'm telling you why I hate him. Cause, Cause, I know you no, gonna I'm lose. telling you why hey, I Luke, hate hey, him. I'm gonna say, listen, I'm gonna do you because I love you. You like a big brother. We got a real relationship. You know that. This is why I know you're gonna lose, right? Because you're gonna spend seven minutes each round trying to explain that you the reason he and you are and he's gonna be fucking you up. You better know how to, you better come there with some punchlines <laughs> and I, some entertainment. Shut up. Shut up. You shut up. You shut up because I ain't got nothing but free time on Halloween for three rounds. So shut up. You shut up, and I got and another 10,000 hey, on my daughter. On my daughter, I got another 10,000. Y'all niggas is stupid. Get off my live talking about you hate my nigga. Get the fuck out of here. Get off. Stupid ass, old ass niggas. Fuck is you talking about? I got 10,000, nigga, on rock and 10,000 on me, nigga. Fuck is you on my mother, nigga, on Alana Cox, nigga. Fuck is you now. Go blog that. Screen record that and put that on fucking Hip Hop Is Real, nigga. Fuck this nigga talk about. I'm going to beat him because I hate him, man. What the fuck? Niggas hate niggas every day. Fuck. You know what I mean? Niggas hated me that can't hate nobody no more because we fucking... What's wrong with these niggas hit, man? It be them old niggas, bro. That shit, they drunk in the house. Do you know who really got him around smack? And Surf is basically saying in his live... That's the shit that's gonna get your ass kicked. You sitting here gonna be trying to rap about for seven minute rounds about how you put somebody on and how you did this and how you did that. And Rock is gonna be punching your fucking head off. And I know a lot of people was thinking that because yes, in the small rooms. And the thing is, I don't look at this as like how we looked at Rock vs. Daylight small room. I don't think so. It's not gonna be like that. I think it's gonna be more like k Sean versus Chess was with some people in there with some reaction. Right now, when it comes to styles, Tay Rock's style is more catered to the way battle rap goes right now. Murder Mook, all time, you know, all time. Murder Mook has a better, you know, battle rap, res not resume, battle rap history, battle rap, you know, everything. But right now, resume wise and everything, Rock's resume is shitting on Murder Mook's resume. Rock's resume is better. We can go battle for battle for battle. But that's the thing, because Murder Mook don't battle that often. So in the live, um, Sue Surf and um, Murder Mook is going back and forth. And then T-Rex jumps in. I don't know where T-Rex came from. Go find that man. Don't come back until you find that man. Him and Surf is talking about battling and Surf, uh, Rex. And yeah, just let's, let's, not, let's not do that one. Um, I, from a nostalgic standpoint, Three rounds of a fully prepared Rex and a it's a I, I, Rex and Surf being both prepared by Halloween. I don't know. I don't know. I would probably have to go with Surf in that one because uh, Rex just hasn't really impressed many in a long fucking time. I mean, damn, when was the last impressive Rex? I'm not trying to waste y'all Saturdays. I really not. Um, maybe Verb. Maybe verb. Them shotgun shells is red and lime green. When I'm squeezed, I'm Gucci before the crime scene. That Rex was impressive, but I I I don't 
I I'm drawing a blank trying to find other impressive ones since then. Uh, last time Surf really, really got got busy to me was versus Reed. I liked him versus Reed. That Reed, the Surf that I seen versus Reed would beat any of the Rexes I've seen in the last five years. And that's just without having any biasness towards the situation. That's just across the board. Now let's get back into Mook and Rock. Uh, Rock also commented on the fact about his battle coming up with uh, with Daylight. You know, I mean, with um, sorry, with Murder Mook. Uh, when asked, uh, salute to battle rap stats. They said, does Tay Rock have a gear above his Murder Mook performance versus Daylight? I mean, yeah, does he have a gear above his performance versus Daylight? I said his Murder Mook performance, and Tay Rock put it on his story and said, watch this. Like he was basically saying. Watch this, like yeah, 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 dig, yeah, dig, yeah, dig, like let's let's focus. I want y'all to stay focused with me. He basically said, you can see, watch this. You know what I'm saying? Everything I just said with the attachment. You know what I'm saying? He was like, watch this, like the next level, the next level above what he did versus uh, what he did versus daylight is what he's gonna do versus Mook. Rock is very excited for the battle. Uh, he's rounds in, done already too. He's preparing or prepared for murder Mook. So. And like I've said in other blogs and said to him, you better be prepared because uh, <laughs> for one of y'all, this battle could go two things. Bad or very bad. Bad or very bad. It's sad or sad. It's very sad. Very sad. Um, but Surf is definitely jumping into this quarrel. He's like, nah, this is what's happening. He, and he basically put him off the live. So you talking about you hate my man. Fuck that. Get off my live, nigga. Get off my live. You get out of here. Kicked him off the live. Um... I like the energy though. I like the energy. That's the one thing I do. Because in a lot of these battles that have been happening recently, there's been like no energy. Like it go through the ones and twosies promotion and then they just battle and then it's over with. And you know, you just had a situation where Briz didn't battle against um, Murder Mook. And from what I'm really hearing from like people that are really on the inside, was that Briz wanted the battle to be pushed back because he had just buried his homeboy, you know what I'm saying? And I, I could take this for face value, but word on the streets, the word on the, you know what I mean, it is what it is. He wanted the battle to be pushed back. Caffeine's money was already evolved. It was like, fuck no, we doing it now. Trailer comes out. Briz is like, yo, I'm not doing it. So he'll, when, whenever he's ready to speak on that, he will speak on that, and it is what it is, but I'm just telling you what the word on the tweets is. Um, So, <sighs> murder mook. Murder mook. Um, you do know that when it comes to this shit now, you're gonna be judged as any other rapper would be, as the Nitties would, as the fucking Tay Rocks, as the Daylights. And it's the fact that there's MCs who have came back into the culture who have been able to um, get with the times, you know what I'm saying? Even lyrical MCs who, who battled or who did music, like Mickey Fax. When he came back in every, all his battles, he came back in him versus DNA, he was able to get with the times. Mook is going to have to get with the times. He's going to have to be entertaining. You just can't sit there and be like, uh, you know, fucking, uh, the, the, I'm the GOAT and you're LeBron and I'm like, that's, <laughs> I'm Jordan, you Kobe, I'm Sha Like, that shit's not going to work. Just saying that, like using basketball references to how I was here before you and how I put you in the game. Nobody's going to want to hear that shit. Like, I mean, they'll hear it. But not if somebody's on the other side of that ring trying to punch your fucking head off. I mean, <laughs> it is what it is. It is what it is, man. Um, I hope everybody's good out there enjoying their Saturdays and things like that. I know a lot of people's like, man, you be you be in the car. I don't even see you in the studio no more. Like, I lost the studio. I, I still own the studio. It's just I be on the go. And, like, when something's really important or, like, a really good topic, I sit down and cut the cameras on and do it like that. But for the most part, you know what I'm saying, a lot of this shit, I be, I be on the move for it. But I know... That they still be wanting that that good old studio level content. Me and Showtime SP, um, we, we we definitely be back in the lab with some things, um, some battles or some stuff come around that we could talk about. Uh, John John Adon versus Ill Will is definitely dropping on Monday. He said he's gonna announce the winner, so he did not he did not run off on the plug. He did not have Showtime do it. He's gonna he said he's gonna give other people a chance to dissect the battle and he'll announce the winner sometime next week. Um, <clears throat> nobody does better than Showtime SP, but it is what it is. Um, salute to him and everything that he's got going on. But yeah, let me know what y'all think, man. Sue Surf, he's jumping out there saying, "Rex, I got, I got nothing but time for three rounds for you, October 31st." Uh, this is gonna get interesting. I'm sure this is gonna continue to get interesting because 
Harlem niggas talk just as much shit as niggas in Jersey, and they are not. You got the two biggest shit talkers in battle rap. Murder Mook is one of them. Sue Surf is definitely another one. And people think that Sue Surf be phased or affected by people saying, "Oh, you choked." Oh, you he don't care about that shit. He don't care. I promise you. But uh, you already know what to do and what it does. So you ain't gotta ask what it was. Salute to the subscribers. That notification gang. If you respect the handle, subscribe to the channel.